Serving Iowans in Congress has been the greatest honor of my life. I came here to Congress to stand up for working families, to ensure that our farmers and rural America has a seat at the table, and to make sure our communities are safe. So together, we've delivered on those goals and more. Accessibility and transparency are the cornerstone of this job. You can't do it right unless you're out in the community and with Iowans in your daily lives. And I have tried to do that. That's why I have held an in-person, open press town hall in all 20 counties of the 1st Congressional District, as well as 14 virtual town halls to connect with you, Iowans, marking 34 town halls total. While we don't always agree on every issue, I'm always going to get your perspective and explain to you where I stand and why. We visited all 20 counties in the district eight times. I have visited family farms, child care centers, walked down our main streets. We have toured manufacturing shop floors, innovative flood mitigation projects, and health care facilities. I want to say thank you to everyone who has shared your stories with me over the past two years. From members of law enforcement on the Mid-Iowa Drug Task Force who reiterated the importance of securing our border to keep deadly drugs like fentanyl out of our communities. Or Paul and Monica Tiffany and McGregor who have built their small business in Iowa but are struggling with inflation and supply chain issues. I am grateful to every single Iowan who shared your experiences, your stories, your concerns, and your priorities with me along the way. Those one-on-one -on -one conversations, the town hall meetings, the feedback, and the tours have shaped my legislative work for you here in Congress. I've introduced 28 pieces of legislation to address the issues most important to you, including the Informed Lawmaking to Combat Inflation Act. We have to rein in wasteful government spending and bring those costs down. The Stop the Betrayal Act to stop the flow of illegal immigration at our southern border. The Providing for Life Act to support new families and expand the child tax credit. And the Child Care Block Development Grant Reauthorization Act to help expand affordable child care access. I also introduced the PRECISE Act. This is legislation to empower farmers with more conservation tools and I helped make sure that important bill has passed out of the House. And I was very proud to work with our entire Iowa delegation to get the bipartisan Sergeant Brandon Ketchum Rural Veterans Mental Health Act signed into law. This will help our veterans in rural areas to receive mental health care that they need. As the only Iowan on the House Appropriations Committee, I've watched your tax, do tax dollars like a hawk, standing against wasteful spending while still working to bring resources back home. I helped to secure over $53 million for local projects in Iowa, including for a child care center in Winnesheek County, to help advance construction on Tower Terrace Road in Lynn County, to complete a fire station in Howard County, and to upgrade our lock and dam system along the Upper Mississippi River. My team and I are in the business of customer service. We closed over 3,500 constituent cases, your cases, helping Iowans recover lost Social Security benefits, deal with the IRS getting millions back to taxpayers, securing visas and passports to help reunite families, and ensuring that veterans are getting the care that they deserve at the VA. And we've corresponded with constituents, with all of you approximately 60,000 times, answering your questions and addressing your concerns. I've advocated fiercely for Iowa's priorities, securing Dubuque's status as a metropolitan area, making sure our communities received resources for derecho recovery, and I stood up for Iowa's values, demanding the Biden administration secure our border, protecting the rights of parents, and defending the Second Amendment. So I will continue to be an unwavering check on the Biden administration while finding common ground to deliver on the priorities that matter most to Iowa families, our farmers, our small businesses, and to our veterans. The taxpayers of Iowa are my only bosses. You are my only bosses. And for me, Iowa will always come first. I am so proud of what we've been able to accomplish together in a short time, and I look forward to building on these successes in the new Congress starting in January. Merry Christmas to everyone, and Happy New Year.